Good morning folks. Welcome back to Dad's shop. Today I'm going to do a quick video on our Gloria lighting system. We just got done building this. We've had the tank for years and it's always been part of our display down at Midwest Old Threshers in Mount Pleasant, Iowa. And I decided to try to make it work again. Last fall I was able to purchase a light fixture that was made to go with a Gloria lighting system. So here, we'll start down here at the tank. This is Gloria lighting system manufactured by Gloria Light Company, Chicago, Illinois. It's a tank that you put, I filled it up with colon gas, or put a gallon of colon gas in it, but back in the day they probably used regular gasoline and then it's got an air pump i just used the air compressor here at the shop but it's got an air pump on there that hooks up there and you would open this valve and that valve and use this tire pump to pump air into the tank right now it's got about 22 pounds of air pressure in it I'm not positive what it's supposed to have. It says it's been tested to 50 pounds. We've actually got another gauge here that a guy gave to me. And it actually says Gloria Light on it. it. Won't focus very good on it. I'll put it right in front of there. It actually says Gloria Light Company. This tank tested to 50 pounds. So we'll swap that out, but I didn't do that yet. So you put fuel in the tank, pump air pressure in it, open this valve over here, and then these are called a hollow wire lighting system. It's got eighth inch copper tubing. I ended up buying eighth inch uh, oil pressure gauge tubing. The tubing comes out, and this tubing would have ran through the walls of your house to wherever the light fixtures were in your house back in the day. But on our cart, it loops around the arm, up, and then comes into the top of our light fixture. You need to, we're going to put double nuts on those two bolts and then cut the excess off of them. But it hooks up inside of here, comes through this light fixture. And down here, and this light fixture would be mounted to the ceiling in your house. And then when you got ready to light the light, I don't know what they had to reach up there. I'm guessing they had some kind of a torch or something that you dipped in alcohol that you would reach up and hold underneath there to preheat it. And then once it's preheated, there's two chains on there and they could have chains as long as you would need to be able to reach it from the floor in your house. And then you would grab the chain and pull it and open it up. And then it would light. We mounted it on this old torch cart because we're gonna still take it to Old Threshers with us and might take it to a couple other shows we go to. So, it's all portable and the top lifts up so that it gets the light fixture up higher for viewing it. So I'm going to put the camera on the stand here and we'll raise it up and light it up. Okay, I'm going to raise the top up on this. It's a little hard to get it started moving at first. It gets stuck when it's down all the way but I looped that copper wire around there so that the wire will expand when you raise this up. And then we have a pin that will go through on this side and a pin that will go through on this side. I know it fits, I had it in there already. There we go. Put 
put those pins through there. And now the light fixture on it is up at eye level or a little bit above. So it's a little more like it would have been in a house. So that makes our display so that when people walk up to it at a show, the light fixture will be up at eye level or just a little bit above. All right, we're gonna light this up. I got dad man in the camera for me here. When you would get ready to use this system in your house, this tank would be, I assume outside. I don't know for sure. I've not read up a whole lot on these, but wherever your tank was mounted and hooked to the system, you would make sure you had air pressure in your tank. I've already got it pressurized. Open up this valve and that supplies the fuel to your hollow wire tubing. And then, like I said, I don't know what they had to reach up there to light it with, but they had to have something to preheat it so that you didn't just end up with a fireball when you lit it. So I'm just gonna use this little soldering torch that we got out here and preheat the generator a little bit so it's hot enough to vaporize the fuel when we start the fuel flow to it. Back side just a little bit. And then I'm gonna oops, put the flame coming up from the bottom and open this valve. I'll shut it kind of tight before you would just pull that chain. And that would let the gas flow to your light fixture in your house. When you look at old stuff like this, it is a miracle that any house built before 1900 is still standing if they actually use stuff like this in their house. See, there's an air gap between the generator and where it actually goes down. must be where it gets its air from. Yeah, because on like a Coleman lantern or any gas lantern, you've got a, air, a separate air tube, but there's no separate air tube on this. So it just shoots the fuel vapor across that gap and goes down and into the light fixture. These chains on here were set up so that they could, you'd have as long a piece of chain as you needed to come down to where you could reach it from the ground. And you get ready to shut it off. You pull that chain that turns this valve, little needle valve, and it shuts off the flow going to the generator, going into that light. I'm not gonna let it go clear out now. I'm gonna let it burn for a little bit. This is the second time we lit it, but we just lit it for the first time this morning, about a half hour ago, once we got it all put together. Like I said, dad's been building this cart and he mounted the air pump, mounted the tank, everything on the cart. And we finally got our eighth inch tubing last week and put it all together today. Right out of there. Right around the arm coming up to the light fixture. And then when we are transporting it or storing it, we can pull those two pins out, drop that right back down so it's shorter for moving around. It'll fit inside of our cargo trailer. We uh, need to build a little cap. I've seen pictures, there's a little tin cap that sits right over top of there and we don't have that, but I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up. This light fixture does, yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. I'll try to get a good picture of it to add into the video. But it's a Gloria brand 
light fixture. Well, folks, thanks for watching. As always, please consider hitting the subscribe and like button. Leave a comment down there in the comment section if you have any questions. I'm certainly not an expert on these, but I'll try to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks for watching, and come back again for more videos.